And today we got some, or tonight, actually it's tonight. This is my first nighttime um, social stream live. We've got something super special for you tonight. We've got people over at the Bearded Axe. Have you heard about the Bearded Axe? If you haven't, we're going to bring on uh, Sean and Nicole, and they're going to tell you a little bit more. Hi, Sean. Hi, Nicole. Hey, Jody. How's it going? It's going great. I raced to get here. I was thought I was going to be at the Tuscola County Fair doing this live, but I made it home in record time. People <laughs> saw me in the moose truck flying down the road, but I made it. All right. <laughs> so Bearded Axe, uh, where is it? We are located at 4375 Bay Road, right by uh, Bay and Schust, um, okay. kind of right behind Chili's. Uh, restaurant. Perfect. You got lots of room over there? We do. We've got 23, <laughs> uh, 23 lanes and a whole lot of fun to be had. Okay. So for anybody who's maybe living under a rock and don't know what, what's new out there these days, the new hot thing is uh, axe throwing. And that's basically what you do. What do you do over there? We do axe throwing, big at we well, let me rephrase. We do okay. hatchet. We throw hatchet. We throw big axe. We throw knives. Um, we've also got a party room that we've got over here with arcades, pool tables. So, I mean, there's a lot of stuff that you can do here. Um, and we just have a great time. How long have you been there? We've been uh, at this location since October. Okay. Yeah, because I've been hearing about you all over the place. Now, um, Nicole, what's the difference between a hatchet and an axe? So the hatchet is what we use to throw. It's the regular standard size. The big yeah. axe has the longer handle, and okay. there are two different divisions on throwing. They're, you have to throw okay. them a little differently. Big axe okay. is just bigger and heavier. They're a little bit more fun. <laughs> but now they're listen. fun. A bit more fun. That's what I'm hearing. Now, listen. People are going to go, oh, my God, you're throwing axes and knives and, you know, whatever, hatchets. Is it safe? Absolutely. It, okay. <laughs> no, no. I mean, it, I'm accident prone. I hurt myself all the time. I actually am in a knee brace right now. And knock on wood, I have yet to hurt myself throwing an axe in the two and a half years I've been doing it. Oh, wow. Exactly. And so, it trust me, I hurt myself a lot. <laughs> girl, girl, you and I would get along great. Um, when you say lanes, are they like so no one else can like throw an axe in your lane or anything, right? Yeah, e each bay has two lanes for the most part. I mean, we have some okay. lanes okay. that are just one one target, and then we've got the majority of them that are uh, two two targets per bay. Um, but they're each lane has it's six feet wide, twelve foot deep. Um, so that way you, I mean, with two of them being next to each other, you've got twelve foot wide, roughly okay. by twelve foot deep. So. Think of like right. bowling. When you go to a bowling okay. alley, they have mm -hmm. lanes next to each other. So oh, it's okay. Two next to each other, and then it's divided. I bet you guys are just having a riot over there, aren't you? It, it oh, is yeah. so much fun. <laughs> We're waiting for you to show up. Let's go. All Come right. On. What um, <laughs> uh, I'm accident prone as well, but if Nicole says she's all right, then I'll be all right. But listen, what um this is gonna sound weird, but why why would I want to come over to throw axes? I mean, is it a stress reliever? I mean, is yeah, there points totally. or something? Somebody win? <laughs> I don't get yeah. it. We we run leagues for adults and youth. Um, we've got, uh, with, with leagues, everything, you know, I mean, you, you can win money through the leagues. Cash um, prize tonight, actually, yep. if you tune into our Facebook page live, they're going to be having a cash <laughs> prize, the top 10. Yeah. Do pe people um, take this pretty seriously, don't they? Oh, absolutely. It's, it's so much. <laughs> <laughs> um, really it is a lot. Did I win the beard? No. Um. <laughs> I know, right? And having a beard is not a, a requirement. Okay, good. Um, <laughs> but it does, it <laughs> My rep asked me if I had like a fake beard laying around for the for the live tonight. I'm like, um, not handy, no. Uh, so, but you don't have to take.
take it seriously. You can go there and have just fun, right? No. Yes, absolutely. You, I mean, it's it's twenty dollars per person per hour. Um, okay. And it's you know when you come in as a walk in, we will train you. We'll show you how to you know how to correctly throw, so that way you it is safe and. Okay. We'll keep an eye on you and everything. But, I mean, we let everybody have fun. We get you throwing and, you know, sticking the target. And then, you know, if there's a group of you, then we let you guys have fun and and just get any any aggressions or, you know, stresses from the it's day. Like, like, a bat, like a batting cage. Like, I bet you guys are busy on Fridays, aren't you? At yeah, Friday and Saturday. Yeah, yeah. 5.30. I'm gonna go throw some axes. Um, that's exactly. fun. Now, um, what got you into this? Oh well, Rob. I think Rob threw you guys out to the wolves, and he's not on the screen. Uh, but what right. got, yeah, what got him into this? Um, it for for myself. Um, growing up, I used to reenact doing muzzle loading and stuff, and I would throw a knife and tomahawk. Um, and loved it growing up. Well, a couple years ago, my wife surprised me for my birthday and instantly I was hooked again and yeah, it's become my second home. Do you, um, do you see a lot of also a, a big helper on getting me to come out too. So oh, do you see a lot of repeat people who get addicted and they're like, I got to be there every week? Oh yeah. Yeah. Yep. How oh, big yeah. are you, the leagues? I'm sorry. Uh, our summer league has 43 people in it. Our spring and league, I think we had 53 or 54. So, so we had the what night is league. that on? What's that? What I don't what is it? I don't understand. So you have a league. How many on a team? Oh, it, it's it's individual. Oh. Um, but we also do throw duels where you have two people throwing at the same target at the same time. So that's that one's a lot of fun. That's Jody, what I like to do. Jody, that's yeah. a lot of fun. <laughs> it is. I am way out of the loop on uh, all the you, are. You, you need to get out here and throw. We have a oh jukebox that we play music on. So there's going to be tons of music that you get to choose that you want to play. Oh, awesome. I like all kinds of music. My man would absolutely love this. Um, I, know, I know he's watching right now because he's a stalker. Um, <laughs> kidding. <laughs> um, <laughs> I told him I was going to be on with you guys tonight, and he was pretty excited, so he's watching. Um, we'll definitely have to get out to the Bearded Axe. Now, let's say it's Friday, and can anybody just walk in, or do you recommend like um, reservations? I would, I would recommend calling ahead just to make sure that we're not super busy and we have room to – uh, to get everybody in. Um, Walk-ins are always welcome, but, but you might have to wait. Okay. Are definitely well, always welcome. Yeah. We always have now, stuff to do, though. Huh? We always have stuff to do if you're waiting. Okay. Like like you said, again, a bearded axe sits on Bay and Schist and Saginaw. What else do you have besides the axe throwing? We've got pool tables. We've got... Shuffleboard. Shuffleboard. Giant Jenga. Darts. Giant Jenga. Air hockey. I love their hockey. There's a golf simulator actually yep. right behind us. Golden key. Oh, yeah. Yep. My right man there is behind us. <laughs> My man is fun. definitely now going to want to go. All right. I got a, I got a guitar behind me. Where's it at? All right. Anyway. Um, <laughs> um, so it's on Bain Just. And what are your hours? Uh, the hours are. Hey, Rob. Oh, I'm looking it up, honey. Where's the owner? <laughs> Give me. Oh. Hold on, we're having a tech technical difficulty. All right, so, Rob. Hi. We will. What are the hours? Box. So we're mostly Wednesday through Sunday. Uh, we are on Thursdays at six to ten. Friday it's four to midnight. Saturday is two to midnight. Sunday is two to seven. And if you've got a group of people that wants to come in, feel free to call us. We will open anytime. Oh, that's awesome. So like a bachelor party or a bachelorette party or Absolutely. you see a lot of those come in? Absolutely. We actually do get a quite a few. Yep. I would think so because, you know, guys are always looking for something manly to do. 
But this <laughs> Rob just kind of faded away. Rob just kind of ducked yeah. out and took off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but women, I mean, do you see a lot of women over there, Nicole? Yeah. We actually have, I want to say it's pretty even right now with girls. Yeah. And some yeah. of our girls are some yeah. Yeah. They're We've what? got some very, very good throwers. Very good women. women throwers. Wow. And you said there's money up for grabs. How would somebody get in on that? Just once you uh, join the league, at the end of leagues, we do, you, you do the first seven weeks, because it's an eight-week league, the first mm -hmm. seven weeks will kind of give you a placement for week eight, it, and week eight is a bracket-style uh, tournament. Okay. Uh, double elimination. So if you if you lose once, you go to B bracket, and okay. you have to lose a second time to be totally out. But yeah, it just plays right out to the top, you know. Right. To the top. So. Is this so your full time gig? I'm sorry. Oh, sorry. I was gonna say if you're like in last place in weeks one through seven, and yeah. somehow practice every day, get really good in week eight, you can actually go home with all the money in the trophy. Ooh, I like that. All right. <laughs> so anybody can be beat on any given day. Yep. Uh, everyone oh, needs awesome. to hear about that. Mm -hmm. Now that's fun. That's fun. Now, that's uh, Sean, is this your full time gig? No, it, it's not. It's it's my full time passion. I'll tell you that. <laughs> it's, your, it's your side <laughs> hustle, is what it is. It right. Is. It is. It's definitely uh, my second home. So. Yeah, and Nicole, same question. Is this your full-time gig? No, I actually, my full-time gig is across the street from here. Okay. So. Oh, Close. awesome. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, just one day you just walked in and decided, you know what, I think I just want to throw an X. All right. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> the old location, yeah. That's fun. That's fun. Um, That's now, I always ask my interviewers a question, and I'll start with Nicole. No, I'll start with Sean. Sean, oh, all right. Are, are you binge watching anything right now? Ooh. Yes. What are you binge watching? Uh, my wife and I are big fans of the Umbrella Academy. So. I haven't seen it yet. It looks pretty weird. I haven't seen oh. the new season. It looks pretty weird. I started to watch it and I was like, okay, I got to go back and see. I can't, my memory isn't that good. But yeah, it's, so it's, it's good. Really good. Okay. Yeah. Nicole, what are you binge watching? Peaky Blinders. Another good I one. I heard about that. Is that one good? Yeah. yeah. It's really good. Sean got all excited about that. Peaky it's a, Blinders. It's a good I'm one. I'm in five now. Started it on Friday. You started on Friday? So it's per season. All right. I'm watching a uh, new season of Virgin River, which is pretty good. It's, Ooh, it's nice. So, I, but uh -oh. I like Ozark. I'm upset up Ozark's over, you know, all that. But Rob, is Rob still in the room? He's still in the room. What are you binge watching? Rob, what are you, what are you binge watching? I'm uh, getting caught up on uh, Stranger Things. <gasps> mm -hmm. Great. That's a good one, too. Yeah. All right. That's, that's my question I always ask everyone. Rob, um, Thank you so much for opening something so cool in Saginaw. The Bearded Axe, Bay Road, and just, um, is there anything you want to, everyone to know before we uh, wrap it up? Um, veteran owned. Veteran owned. Yep. Family oriented. Yes. Okay. The, veteran owned. Will, my man to vet. Okay. You, um, you won him over. He's done. I will say this. You have discounts for veterans as well. Um, first responders. Okay. The Axe oh, community. Oh, it it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter who you are. Um, the Act community is one of the most welcoming communities that you will ever find, and, yeah. and it's like the backgrounds to everybody that you know that comes in and and gets to be a part of it. It it's crazy to to see how vast it is because you have every walk of life. I mean, we're all a bunch of nerds, you know, in some in our own in our own way. Marvel fans, and, I get it. Yeah, <laughs> you know, like I I I like wearing different socks. So um, I wear funky, crazy colored socks and and everything else. And I'm normally wearing a hat. Um, I mean, my nickname is the hat. 
Uh, but it, we can all be as weird as we want. And it, like no one judges anyone. We, we make fun of each other, but it's, in an endearing way. In an endearing way. Yeah. It's not like, yeah. you know, malicious or anything like that. But yeah. <laughs> like, we are so, like, everybody is so willing to help everyone. Like, you could I be, love, throwing, yeah. like, yeah. when, you, when you're throwing, you know, you could, we could be throwing against each other and you notice something that I'm doing with my throw and you're like, hey, scoot back just a little bit. And, you know, you'll throw out little tidbits of advice. And that's just how the whole axe community is. It doesn't matter you, whether they're world champs or brand new to the sport. It everyone's out there to help everyone. That it's. I love really Sean. What you said, and you said it twice now. The axe community. Who would have ever thought that there would be like. I just came. I just came in from the Tuscola County Fair where they're having the Super Kicker Rodeo. That's a whole different world that I'm used to. Uh, con yep. racers have their own community, um, and now bikers. Bikers are some of the nicest people I've ever met in, in, in my life. And yep. now you're telling me there's an axe community that I know nothing about. This is a whole yep. new door that you Absolutely. opened. Absolutely. Wow. Wow. All right. So we can come out again. With, uh, it's it's beard. It's the bearded axe. It's axe throwing. Yeah. There's a lot of other stuff to do there too. It's um 4375 Bay Road. It's a Bay Road and shoes just behind um Chili's. And you're yeah. open usually Wednesdays through Sundays. You have yeah. a you obviously have a Facebook page, right? In a, yeah. in, a, yep. in, a in a website. Yep, bearded axe. Uh, 989. 989 uh, is the uh, the website, and same thing on Facebook too, yep. isn't it? So I think I think it's crawling below us. I think he's. I think our guy's got it down here. So he, oh, yeah, okay. he's got awesome. all the info. Um, yep. So th anything else? What else? What else you want to tell me? You need to come. You need to get out here and throw. <laughs> I'm gonna get my man. He's a vet too, and so he would he would totally love that. Yeah, that's definitely um definitely make a plan of that, and I'll be looking for Nicole and um yeah. Sean. I'll be seeing you at the Jelly Roll on Friday. I wasn't supposed to talk about that, but uh, um, <laughs> he's a country artist. Um, so um exciting. Nicole, look for me on Friday in Auburn. And I'll be looking for you guys at the Bearded Axe. Thank you so much for taking the time to come on Thank and you. Uh, be on with the um, Mix 106.3, WSGW, AM and FM, KISS 107, and 94.5, the Moose. I'm um, looking forward to coming out. And uh, thank you so much. Have a wonderful night, Thanks, guys. Everybody. Have a you great too. one.